Hey guys, uh, welcome to episode one of What the Tech Show. Uh, I've basically created this show to share the different marketing tools that I've been using and I've been helping my clients use in order to work online easily and more effectively. So this series is for you if you already work online and you know now you just need more tools or probably don't know about some tools that you could be using either free or paid or if you're in a situation where you're working from home and want to learn about tools that can make this entire work from home thing more effective or if you're someone that is now at a point where you're looking to start your own online business all of these tools will really help you get started and get going so if you don't know me, my name is Shweta and I'm a marketing tech expert. I help small businesses uh, implement marketing technology in their business so that they can uh, grow faster and also have more freedom by using the right technology and also uh, become more effective. I also have a few courses that I run where I have students that go through and learn about marketing technology and then help others implement the same. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a tool that I have recently started using to run free webinars, paid webinars, training sessions, workshops. And I really like this tool because it is very beginner friendly and it's really easy get, to get started. So this tool is, um, so it costs $20 a month, which is kind of okay as compared to other tools. If you start with something like Webinar Jam, it's more expensive. Zoom is also, I think it's a little more expensive, but this tool, I found it uh, to be really beginner friendly and really easy to get started with. So if, if you're someone who's not very tech savvy, or if you're someone who is tech savvy, but you're looking to get started with something and get going, this is a great tool. So the tool is called Crowdcast. I will go ahead and share my screen and take you through the tool and also let you know how you can get started and create your first event. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so the tool is called crowdcast.io. So you can just go to the website and sign up for a free trial. They offer a free 14-day trial, but the thing is with the trial, you're limited to 30 minutes for the event. So if you're running a webinar or a training series, uh, the free trial limits it to 30 minutes. And the second thing is you cannot have more than 10 attendees. So the best uh, way would be to just get started with a paid plan at $20 a month. And for $20 a month, you get unlimited attendees. Of course, there are a few limits because uh, they have other pricing plans as well. Let's go ahead and look at the pricing plans. But I would suggest if you're just getting started, uh, the basic plan, which is $20 a month, is good enough to get started with. So this is uh, $20 a month is the basic. So there's a limit to 50 plus attendees, five hours a month. Uh, so Crowdcast also allows you to accept payments when you're running the trainings. So they have a transaction fee here. You can run up to two hours of sessions uh, and there's some more things. You have email support. You can also integrate it with Stripe. You can click here and see the full list of features. And then of course, uh, the number of live attendees and hours per month increases as you start looking at the higher price plan. So I would suggest just go ahead and get started with the starter plan, get a feel of the platform, or you know, if you don't have an event plan, if you don't have a workshop or training plan, you can get started with a trial, 14 day trial. And then if you do like it, you can go ahead and sign up for the starter plan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to create your first event. This could be a free event or it could be a paid event. The good thing that I like about Crowdcast is they also have a registration page. So if you want to do something quickly, you don't have the time to create a registration page uh, in a landing page tool or a sales page tool like ClickFunnels or Lead Pages. You can actually use the registration page with Crowdcast and get started. So I'm just going to click on New Event. And here you can name your event. So whatever your webinar or 
uh, training series is called. You can name this that. So I'm just going to call this free training. Get started with Facebook ads. This is just an example. You can schedule it to go live in the future. So you can also schedule it to be a single event or a multi-session. So if you're doing a, a, a series of trainings, uh, you could use this option. So I'm just going to choose a single one for now and just uh, go with 4, 15 p.m. maybe. You can also select the date. You can add a description for your event and the, uh, for your event, and this description will be visible on the registration page. You can add an image, you can add a video, you can add a link. So this really helps you customize your page. And again, it is really easy. You just have to go through it step by step, so you don't have to really think about it too much. So when you schedule it, just click on done here so that it gets saved. And then you can have it uh, to be public. So uh, basically anyone can come in through and, you know, go through the crowd class, uh, Crowdcast platform and find it. If you do it unlisted, then they need to have a URL to join you. You can give it access to anyone. You can use a payment method here. So you can put a price for your uh for your event, uh, and for this, you will need a Stripe integration. So, for example, if I say this is $25, you could add a coupon or you could just have it password pro protected. I'm just going to hit save here. And this is created, but I'm just going to go back and edit to complete the other parts of uh, this setup. So under cover photo, you could have a cover photo here. I could just say yes. And then you could select a photo and drop it. You could also have a video trailer, which could be a Vimeo or a YouTube video that you could attach here so that, you know, people get a trailer when they land on the registration page or even, sorry, the, uh, the the workshop page so before you're starting the workshop if someone's inside the room they will be able to see the trailer so i'm just going to go ahead and select a random image right now uh, okay i am uh Okay, this is a random image from one of my new blogs. So I'm just going to go select that. And I am, okay, it is uploading. Okay, I'm just going to hit save. A very weird image for a Facebook ads thing, but it's just a random image. Um, okay, I'm just going to go back to edit event and click on registration. So you can't really customize registration fields on the starter plan. And I'm kind of okay with that because I just need the email address. And with the basic registration page for Crowdcast, they do ask the email address. They also send them a confirmation email and a reminder email. We'll be able to see those things also here under advanced. So here you can see that you don't want to limit the number of seats. If you want to accept any donations, you can say yes. I'm just going to say no. And then you want to send a registration email to them confirming their registration. You also want to send them a reminder. And you can also select, uh, choose to add your Facebook pixel here. You just need your pixel ID. That's it. And then you just hit save. And then when you're ready to go live, uh, let's look at this. So this is basically the page. So you can see the link here. You can actually also customize this link. Let me go back. And registration cover advanced. Yeah, you can customize the link here. Free training ads. So I'm going to hit save. So now when you share this link with someone, it's actually going to take them to the registration page. 
uh, let's first go through this part and then I'll show you the registration page. So you can add a call to action. If you want people to go to your sales page after you've done with the training, you can add that uh, URL here. You can also create a poll while your training is on and you can uh, have you run Facebook ads before. And then you could add a poll with yes, and no, and then save it. If someone wants to ask you questions, they can do that here and you'll be able to see, uh, you'll get an update or, or a notification here when someone asks you questions. And here, before you go live, you can uh, also put in a message saying, hey, we will be live shortly. And you'll be able to see the entire chat right here on the right side. Now, once you are ready, so the reason why it's not letting me go live is it's giving me this error because I asked for $25, but I haven't connected Stripe here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the payment option for now because you ha first have to go and connect Stripe, which I haven't done. So I'm just gonna say anyone can join it. Okay. So this is the basics. Now, when you are, uh, so when it's time for you to run the workshop and when it's time for you to go live, all you have to do is you have to log in into your account and here you you can go to my events. So log into your Crowdcast account, go into my events uh, and click into this event. So it's basically the same link. And then you just have to click on prepare to go live. And then you can either use something like OBS if you use it for, uh, you know, YouTube lives or even Ecamm. I have just done this before directly and this lets me share my screen also. So I'm just going to go and do it directly. And then you just have to uh, make sure your camera and mic is on. So this is how it is. I'm just going to hit save. And now I am going to go inside the green room, which is basically where you're testing it, that everything is working or not. And then once you see that your uh, everything is working fine, you can just go ahead and click on go live. So here you can click on this to share your screen. That's it. And then if you want to change any settings, you could click here and do that. So if you think your camera or mic has a problem, you could look at it into, uh, on, in, into the settings button. I'm just gonna cancel it and it's gone really slow because now I'm on video on two platforms. So I'm just gonna exit the green room here, but it's very easy. You just enter the green room, you just check whether everything is working fine and then you just click on go live and you can also easily go ahead and share your screen. So I've exited the green room. Now, let me go back and go under my events. So you will be able to see the analytics for your event here. Also, uh, this is one of my old events. So I have all of this uh, going on. I can look at the analytics and it still gives me some analytics. And of course the basic plan doesn't allow for much, but yeah, it, it's like the basic stuff. And now when you're in your event, you can actually uh, you can invite someone on screen. You can email your attendees at that point. You can download your video. You can uh, duplicate event, delete event. You can do all of these things under options. And then you can also click on share and share your event on social media right before you're going live. So these are some good things, uh, fun things that you can do. Yeah, that's it. Like, that's about it. You can just go ahead and create new event, edit your events. Let's go ahead and go into settings. And email templates. 
So you can change how your registration confirmation email and your reminder email is. You can change that here, uh, change preview. And then you can integrate your Stripe here. You also have a ConvertKit integration, which is great. There's a Zapier integration. So if you use an email platform that's not available here, you can connect it through Zapier. Stripe is always good to have. So again, if you're running a paid event, you'll first have to connect Stripe and then you can make it a paid event by asking for $25, $97, whatever it is. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps you. Again, the platform that I shared today is crowdcast.io. I aim to come uh, live here every day as much as possible and share the different tools that you can start using. But trust me, if you're looking to run an online training, an online workshop, webinar, if you're a yoga instructor, if you're a nutritionist, if you want to share online trainings with your audience in a live setting, if you're looking to start an online business and share your expertise online, Cloudcast.io is a great platform to get started. It's easy to use, it's beginner friendly, and you can have your entire setup ready and to go in like 30 minutes. And you also don't need to create a separate registration page. You can just get started with it. Actually, I forgot to show you how the registration page looks like. So let me go and show, show you the registration page. So that was crowdcast.io slash e free training and that was the link that we just created so let's go ahead and see how the registration page looks like okay this is how the registration this is how the registration page looks like. All you have to do or someone who wants to register for this training will go ahead and click on save my spot and they'll just enter their email address and then they'll get a confirmation. So this is pretty easy. I hope it makes sense. If you like this video and want to keep following along in this marketing tech tool journey, don't forget to like my Facebook page. It's called Marketing Tech School. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Every re All replays will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Shweta Davar, so just go to YouTube and I'll also share the link here. And also, I share a lot of uh, marketing tech tools and tips on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm at Shweta Davar Live. I will see you tomorrow, same time, sharing another tool with you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.